no, don't. Oh. <gasps> oh. 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 <laughs> Today, we are back at it, reacting to insane medical injuries and supposed ways people kick the bucket on A Thousand Ways to Die. Here, joining me today is my wife, Jen. Hello. Let's dive right in. Benny grew up to be a total a-hole. 26 going on 14. Wait, is that sugar? Sugar. Do you know a thing or two about what you shouldn't put in a car? Okay, you don't have to be a car expert to know that sugar in a gas tank is a no-go. <laughs> All sorts of issues, clog, replace fuel filters. Just put fuel yep. in the fuel tank. Or cracking open someone's skull. What? The oh, his pranks. wait, 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 wait. So he just put down some grease, some oil? Some oil, some grease, maybe vegetable oil or something, and then made it slippery and fall down, go boom, crack your skull open, cervical fracture, and cranial bleeding. The blinding light hit the perfect spot, <laughs> and <laughs> Benny finally got oh, his Oh, no, don't, oh. <gasps> oh. 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 <laughs> oh. These always go so differently than I expected. <laughs> Fire hydrants are like solid metal. Maybe some of you fire people out there know exactly how much that weighs, but if it's shooting through the air, propelling. What bad luck, I mean, karma. Okay, so wait, did he die though? Did he die? He finally got what was coming to him. Wow. wow. Part of your face is gonna be fractured off. You're gonna get traumatic brain injury. You're gonna get bleeding into your brain. You might have a cervical spine fracture, which maybe it just ripped through his brain stem. Snap that off, which then stopped your breathing, stopped your heart. Whoa. I would have thought he would have kicked the bucket via just getting clobbered. You're still potentially getting effects of my heart still beating and I'm still breathing because it hasn't affected that part of the brain. Your midbrain, your pons, and your medulla oblongata. When you say that, I think a water boy. Yeah, yeah, every time. <laughs> medulla oblongata. Bill was a successful businessman who hired oh. Jenny a personal trainer to help he and his wife oh stay fit. Oh my gosh. And in? What he didn't know, Jenny was a gold digger <laughs> in a sports bra. <laughs> How's that Jenny? Jenny was a gold digger in a sports bra. Hmm. Uh, I did play a gold digger once uh, on this show, uh, but Jenny's are not gold diggers. She decided to work on her clean and jerk technique. <laughs> That is when you actually clean, pick it up, and you jerk. There's different powerlifting movements. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're talking about here. Come on! Practice for when she finally got her chance. Oh, she's gonna do a clean and jerk. Look, she cleans it and jerk. <gasps> oh! Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> First of all, the reenacted weight set was very funny. It's like a PVC piping sprayed with like... It probably was. Hyperextension of the neck, as well as the weight going on, so it snaps the neck. Too much! So I'm assuming it caused, again, brainstem injury. Uh -oh. What? Looks like Bill's billfold is safe. I don't know why the blood's coming out of her mouth. That's probably I was going to ask that. Why the old red stuff? The old red stuff for dramatic effect. Maybe she smashed her mouth on the ground, so you could be bleeding from a lip laceration, a tongue laceration, a tooth that cracked open, but it's not from like the systemic effects of like her own death. Say hello to Brandon, the once and future oh. king of skateboarding, and now a burnt out has been. But these days, he spends his time terrorizing pedestrians. The hell out of the way! What? Why is it so angry? And security guards. Skateboard injuries are gnarly. That's like a whole other it's video. It's a whole other thing. Can... A lot of ankles, a lot of wrists. I wasn't maybe the smartest child in this attempt, where I was like, oh, I can ride two skateboards at once. Oh, each foot? Yeah, yeah, it's really... Mm, yeah, split. It's not no. good. Brandon was the showing flashes wonderful. of his old self. But an unseen rock brought him oh, back no. to reality. Sent him flying oh, through the air. We're always gonna land on a putt. <laughs> landed him in a big section of fresh cement. Yeah, you'd be able to get out of that. I don't really know the mechanism that would kill him. I assume that his oh, airways. Oh, he suffocated. No breathing. So he died by asphyxiation, not having any gas exchange because you can't breathe. You're passed out. It's a wet rock, so you can't actually get anything to go in, in there. The impact knocked him out cold. Oh. <gasps> and Brandon was about to become a permanent part of the site. That's why. Obviously, you can get out of that in a couple seconds if you're awake, but if you're unconscious. And if you hadn't made the security guard mad. That's such a 
freak accident. Wet cement solidifies through a chemical process called hydration. Okay. Unfortunately for Brandon, it was quick dry cement. And within a few minutes, the unconscious skateboarder was set in stone. Wow. How fast does quick dry cement take? A couple minutes. If you guys know, let us know in the comments, but that's crazy. Maybe it got into his lungs the way he slid into that. Right. Tonight's party was a chance to drag home a likely sperm donor and drain him of his precious bodily fluids. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that we actually use whale sperm for medicine? Just dropping that one right there. I know where raspberry comes from, but yeah. don't Google yeah. that. Yeah. Leaving nothing to chance, Cindy picked her outfit carefully. The most important weapon in her fashion arsenal, a metal reinforced bra she bought at a lingerie store. I'm assuming the reinforcement is like below for support to push them up. Yeah, I yeah. mean, there's normally yeah. typically a wire. We always ask an individual to take off the bra for an x-ray because we will end up seeing the wires on the x-ray. I hope it's for an x-ray. <laughs> Just kidding. With her chest loaded with twin metal torpedoes, Cindy was Whoa, ready for Whoa, Madonna. Once at the party, Cindy made sure she kept the guys abreast of the situation. <laughs> abreast. <laughs> play on words are great. Oh my gosh. Uh, yep. Cindy was the life of the party until. <gasps> <gasps> Come on. Come on. The chances of getting struck by lightning is super rare, right? If you get struck by lightning, do you still have some sort of electrical charges kind of going through your system or is it like one and done, in and out? It's one and done, in and out. You don't die from the burn, you die from electrical. the electricity screwing up your electrical circuit of your heart. Just stops. Stops or causes funky rhythms. Every guy wanted her, but then she bolted. She bolted. <laughs> you could pass away from getting struck by lightning. Yes, it could happen or you could be okay. So there's a huge spectrum. You can have burns, you can have injuries to the nerves. A lot of different things could happen. And then long-term injuries can occur as well. That's so, that's long-term. Was it your grandmother struck by lightning? My grandmother was struck in the butt by lightning. And she always tells us a story that her hair changed color after she got struck by lightning. I wonder if that was a fib. That's a fib. So fun, crazy, some of these descriptors, we'll call them. Yeah. yeah, really funny. We got the merch, it's limited run, so check out the link in the description below. I like, like that right? hat, it's super cool. Beanie, I love fall it. weather. Uh, it looks good. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out Jen and I reacting to other episodes of A Thousand Ways to Die. So check out this playlist right here. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends. Bye.